It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the God Art family. Today, we're going to be talking about not taking other people's criticism so personally. And so I'm also going to include a story in this example. And so a long time ago, when I was in a intermediate level about around like three or four years ago, I was just starting out. I, I didn't understand like the concepts of, uh, of anatomy, perspective, and other fundamentals. I was relying on, on observation mainly. And so I, I didn't know the, the principles, like the fundamental principles, the fundamental principles back then. So as I was first starting out and as well as, uh, you know, other people, you know, we all have our, our mentors or other artists that in, inspire us, etc. And so I had uh, several other uh, artists that I looked up to that I studied from th that and they were my, my mentors back back in the day. And so there were some indie artists and then there were some, uh, you know, professional, you know, industry artists that I also looked up to. And I'm going to talk about one of them in particular. And so I remember in the past, like way back, um, and this is why I, I say not to take other people's criticism so personally, is that I remember in the past that, uh, and th this wasn't a, a personal attack for me, from me, but uh, I mean, this wasn't a personal attack directed towards me. But uh, one time, one one person was like, oh, I they, they hated uh, uh, Taito, Taito Kubo's art style. And they were like, oh, my art style was better than Taito Kubo's etc etc and that didn't make sense to me just due to the fact that um Taito Kubo Taiti Ta Kubo had a much more broader understanding of anatomy perspective and and various other you know uh, various other concepts of, of, of uh you know ex expressions and, and poses and whatnot he had a, he had a, a grand understanding of it and to say that you know my mentor was was not a good artist it was just kind of illogical uh, to me because he was saying that he, he didn't like Taito Kubo's art style and he was like he, he preferred my art style which was honestly just didn't make logical sense because I studied from this guy you know and so what from this from this like experience I can conclude that you know other people's what other people say about um other people's criticism is it, it says more about them as opposed to the the art and this is why I feel that we shouldn't be taking other people's uh, criticisms personally. So I feel that, you know, we have an inner voice, uh, an inner voice that we should listen to of discernment and intuition. And at the same time, we should be open to uh, other uh, other people's feedback. However, we shouldn't let the, you know, the feedback, you know, be 100 percent like take control of our you know inner voice, our inner vision. And so, like, for example, if we if we ever do receive feedback, we can, you know, learn from it. We can take like, you know, 70 percent and, you know, scrap the others if it doesn't make sense to to us. Or we can take, you know, 60 or or 50 percent. It doesn't matter. But we can learn from the feedback, but the feedback isn't us ultimately because all in all, we can't please everybody on earth. You know, everyone is going to have a different set of opinions, a different set of, a different set of views, a different uh, agenda, and, and people are looking at, at it through different kinds of lenses. It will be, you know, it's impossible to please everyone. So you might as well just, you know, be, be you, express your vision. And so there was this one time where I had, uh, this was a, a little, this was a, a little bit more recent, uh, not like a, like a, a year or, or two, it was like a year or two ago, but there was this one time that, uh, you know, I had finished complete this, uh, art, this, uh, this, uh, poster of a few of my antagonists and I had posted it on some, uh, on a different uh, on, on on some art uh, discord and like one time uh someone was like are you afraid of drawing faces why are you so afraid of drawing faces and it, it didn't it didn't make it didn't make sense to me because you know the the reason why he just assumed i was afraid of drawing faces is because the characters had masks but you know i wanted to add the mask on the characters so that they could hide their identities you know that was he was only judging based on one artwork that i posted and not like the several other artworks that i posted so 
So he was looking at my artwork through his filter of experiences. And all in all, my message for today is to not take other people's criticisms to the heart, to, too personally, you know? And all in all, my message for today is to not take other people's criticisms to the heart, to, too personally, you know? And to continue learning and growing and, and expanding your craft, uh, being open to new ideas, etc., while still maintaining that inner voice, your your inner self, that that vision that you wish to to tell, or you know that person that you wish to become. And there's going to be nays- naysayers. However, that's just the, the story of life, you know. You know, in, like just like in a, in an anime or in, in a movie, you know, we have an antagonist for the main character to finally find himself, you know. So, you know, it, it's all it's all a story. It's all a it's all a story. So yeah, you're the main character. Of your, you're the main character of your own story. So yeah, just keep doing you. Oh, ow! I hit my hand. So yeah, that will be the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.